this is an exponential equation where you have 6 to 6 to the 3 6 to 3x plus 5 equal to 1 many don't know where to start with this question so now you know this question now let me just start with saying if you have you have x to, to d x divided by a sorry a to x divided by a to y is equal to a to x minus y now it's just the same as saying 2 to the power 3 divided by 2 to the power 2. The same thing as saying 2 times 2 times 2 divided by 2 times 2. You cancel all this, you have answers to. So if you do it another way by saying 2 to the power of 3, divided by 2 to the power of 2 is the same thing as 3 sorry the same thing as 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 which is 2 to the power of 1 so the same thing as 2 now now 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 which now implies that 2 to the power of 1 minus 1 is equal to 1. So it also implies that 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Now, it now means that anything raised to power 0 is equal to 1. Because A divided by A is equal to 1. Which implies that a raised to power one minus zero. One, sorry. A so which implies that um, which implies that a raised to power one minus one equal to 1, which also implies that a raised to power 0 is equal to 1. So now the problem is 6 to the power of 3x minus n plus 5 is equal to 1. So you now have 6 to the power of x plus 5 is equal to 6 to the power of 0. So anything raised to power 0 is 1. Now, that means you have 6 to the power of 3x plus 5 is equal to 6 to the power of 7. Now, now since the basis, the base, since the base are the same, you equate, you equate the exponential. So, Equating the exponential, you have 3x plus 5 equal to 0. Now, what we do now is we add plus and we add, we add minus. Let me just in the you. you Add minus 5 to both sides. So this minus 5 will cancel out this. You now have left. At the left hand side, you're, you're left with your. You now have 3x, which is equal to minus 1. Now, for us to now find our x, you divide both sides by 3. So 3, we cancel out here, we have x is equal to minus 5 all over 3, which is the same thing as minus 1, 2 over 3. So this is the final answer. So our x 
is equal to minus one two over two. So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. So that any time I create new videos, you'll be the first to see it. Thank you.